I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert and the YouTube channel. In this video, you'll discover the nootropic benefits of holy basil, or Tulsi. Now, this is an update to a video I made on holy basil a few years ago. You will learn why holy basil is used as a nootropic supplement. You'll learn what it is, how much to use of the recommended holy basil dosage, what time of day to use holy basil, the potential side effects, and the best type of holy basil to buy to benefit brain health and cognition. So why should you listen to this video about holy basil? Well, because holy basil is great for relieving anxiety and stress, to put you in a better mood, and it's a great way to protect your brain. In fact, holy basil has been shown in clinical studies to be as effective for anxiety as Valium. Sound good? Now, before we get started, please hit the subscribe button for my channel. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps YouTube know to suggest this channel to someone else who may need this information too. And hit the share button so others can learn about Holy Basil or Tulsi and how it may help them if they're dealing with anxiety and stress. So stay with me for a few minutes and I'll tell you more about Holy Basil. Let's get started. Holy basil, or Tulsi, is a member of the mint, or Labatai family, of plants. Tulsi, or the incomparable one, is the most sacred plant in the Hindu religion and has been valued for millennia by Ayurveda, Greek, Roman, Siddha, and Yunani because of its benefits from mind, body, and spirit. Holy basil has been traditionally used for anxiety, cough, asthma, diarrhea, fever, dysentery, arthritis, eye diseases, indigestion, hiccups, vomiting, stomach problems, heart health, back pain, skin diseases, ringworm, insect, snake, and scorpion bites, and malaria. As a nootropic supplement, holy basil is used primarily to support mood, promote relaxation, and reduce stress. Within Ayurvedic medicine, holy basil, or Tulsi, is known as the incomparable one or mother medicine of nature, and the queen of herbs. Research over the last decade shows holy basil's therapeutic benefits include use as an adaptogen for metabolism, immune system support, protection from various forms of radiation, is antimicrobial and anti-diabetic. When taking an overall broad view of how holy basil works to support brain health, studies show that this adaptogen can be classified according to three main clinical domains metabolic disorders, cognition and mood conditions, and immunity and infections. And know that inflammation is the underlying cause across all these brain health issues. The anti-inflammatory effects of holy basil are attributed to multiple metabolites that act alone and synergistically to inhibit inflammatory pathways. The Ayurvedic tradition of using holy basil daily may be a highly effective way to treat many modern chronic diseases. Holy basil boosts brain health and function in several ways, but two in particular stand out. First, holy basil protects the brain from chronic loud noise. Exposure to loud noise has been identified as a major environmental threat to public health. Loud noise exposure, apart from damaging your hearing, is bad news for your heart, endocrine, and nervous system. Loud noise from any source damages DNA, suppresses major neurotransmitters, and weakens your immune system. Holy basil protects your brain from chronic exposure to loud noise. Researchers at the University of Madras subjected Wistar albino rats to 100 decibel broadband white noise four hours daily for 15 days. That is the kind of noise that you would experience during a rock concert or shotgun blast or jet engine. The team measured epinephrine, dopamine, norepinephrine, and serotonin levels in the rat's brains and found that 15 days of chronic noise exposure had a significant negative impact on neurotransmitter levels. The researchers gave the rats holy basil extract, 70%, and found that this nootropic protected and maintained neurotransmitter levels from noise stress. And the second way holy basil works in your brain is that it protects and boosts memory. Holy basil has been shown to be a potent acetylcholinesterase inhibitor. Acetylcholinesterase is the enzyme that helps break down acetylcholine once it's used in your brain. But too much acetylcholinesterase will suppress acetylcholine, which in turn degrades learning and memory. And is particularly prevalent in Alzheimer's and other neurodegenerative disease patients. A study conducted in Japan had researchers work with rats with experimentally induced dementia. 
then acetylcholinesterase activity was estimated in several different parts of the rat's brain. The rats were then given either water-based or alcohol-based extracts of holy basil. The researchers found that both extracts of holy basil significantly decrease acetylcholinesterase activity in rats. The researchers concluded that holy basil was shown to be useful for the management of experimentally induced cognitive dysfunction. With the exponential development of science and technology and economic and social competition, the nature of human stress has dramatically changed. Stress causes changes in brain cell signaling, neurotransmitters, and hormones. When under control, your body is equipped to respond to these stressors in a healthy way. Your body increases catecholamine neurotransmitters, like dopamine and norepinephrine, to elevate heart rate and blood pressure, kicking in your fight-or-flight response. But when this stress is prolonged or exaggerated, chronic stress hijacks your normal healthy homeostasis and balance. Stress is now recognized as the cause of 75 to 90 percent of all human disease. Chronic stress results in an increase in chronic inflammation, cardiovascular disease, high blood pressure, metabolic diseases like diabetes and non-alcoholic liver disease, neurodegenerative disease like anxiety, depression, and, and uh, Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, and increases in cancer. We don't have many options for opting out of our high-stress, warp-speed society. We can go on vacation for a couple of weeks, learn how to meditate, and carefully choose our friends. But we can also use nootropics to help our brain and body cope with and counter the effects of chronic stress. And this is where holy basil comes in. It functions as an adaptogen, enhancing your body's ability to cope with physical and mental stress. Of all the herbs used in Ayurveda, holy basil is the most revered, and recent research is now confirming how it works. Holy basil as an adaptogen can help physical, chemical, metabolic, and psychological stress through its unique combination of therapeutic actions. Tulsi can protect your brain and body against industrial pollution, heavy metals, physical stress from strenuous physical exertion, stroke, exposure to cold, and excessive noise. Holy basil can normalize blood glucose, blood pressure, and high cholesterol, and boost memory and cognition through its anxiolytic properties and antidepressant qualities. It can protect against human and animal pathogens. It's antimicrobial and even be used as a hand sanitizer, a mouthwash, and water purifier. Holy basil protects against toxic chemicals by increasing your body's levels of glutathione and increasing the activity of antioxidant enzymes like superoxide dismutase and catalase, mopping up free radicals and other toxins. Tulsi protects your brain against the toxic effects of many pharmaceuticals, including acinometaphen, meloxicam, and drugs used to treat tuberculosis. And holy basil shields your brain from heavy metals like arsenic, cadmium, chromium, and mercury, and from the toxic effects of radiation. Holy basil as a nootropic can help boost memory by inhibiting acetylcholinesterase, which helps increase acetylcholine use in your brain. And it may help prevent neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and dementia. One Reddit user reported that holy basil tea worked great for her anxiety. It was like a hug in a mug. Unlike using a benzo like Xanax to numb you, holy basil helps you handle stress head on, allowing you to stay present and work through your problems. Neurohackers report that holy basil helps them sleep through the night. It levels out their mood and it keeps them sane. Holy basil may help reduce work-related stress and help you deal with annoying coworkers. Students may find that holy basil helps deal with the stress of exams. And holy basil is a potent COX-2 inhibitor and anti-inflammatory, which means it should help provide relief from joint, muscle, and arthritic pain. The therapeutic and nootropic properties of holy basil have been known for millennia and is considered a hate sacred plant in India. But clinical studies with holy basil in the lab and few human studies only began late in the 20th century. 
So we now have scientific evidence supporting holy basil's antimicrobial, adaptogenic, anti-diabetic, anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer, radiation protecting, immune system boosting, neuroprotective, heart protecting, and as a mosquito repellent, name a few. But most holy basil clinical studies so far have been done in animals. Human studies are few and far between, and we must rely on reports from the biohacking community on how well holy basil works as an entropic supplement. Ionizing radiation, the kind emitted by bombs, nuclear reactors, x-rays, and minerals, weaken and break up DNA. Exposure to ionizing radiation causes DNA damage, like single-strand breaks, double-strand breaks, and DNA protein cross-linkages, either damaging cells enough to kill them or causing them to mutate in ways that eventually lead to cancer. The compounds found in holy basil have been proven to protect against radiation injury. Several studies in animals demonstrate holy basil acting as a free radical scavenger, which is the likely mechanism of radiation protection by these flavonoids. A study conducted in India recruited 35 patients, 21 male and 14 female, average age 38.4 years, to investigate using holy basil in the treatment of anxiety. Patients were given 500 milligrams of holy basil extract twice daily for 60 days. The patients were assessed at the beginning of the trial at 30 and at 60 days into it. Researchers found that holy basil significantly reduced general anxiety and relieved the associated stress and depression. The team concluded that holy basil may be useful in the treatment of general anxiety disorder in humans and may be a promising anxiolytic agent. Holy basil has been studied in various animal studies that reveal its anti-anxiety and antidepressant properties. Research shows holy basil as effective in treating depression as the tricyclic antidepressant tofernil and Valium. The recommended dosage of holy basil extract is 300 to 2,000 milligrams per day. For curative therapy, 600 to 1,800 milligrams of holy basil extract is divided into two or three doses daily. For diabetes, 2,500 milligrams of holy basil dried leaf powder per day. You can easily make holy basil tea by pouring boiling water over two teaspoons of fresh holy basil leaves and let it steep for five minutes. Holy basil is considered non-toxic and safe to use even at higher doses. But toxicity has been reported in mice for holy basil essential oil, which is 70% eugenol, at 42.5 milliliters per kil kilogram body weight. So not sure about humans. Now, if you are hypoglycemic or have a bleeding disorder, you should use caution when supplementing with holy basil. And holy basil has been shown to significantly decrease sperm count in males. And we have reports that village women and Ayurvedic physicians have been using holy basil leaves for birth control. The mechanism of action of sperm reduction seems to be associated with a significant increase in circulating testosterone, which decreases luteinizing hormone, but not sufficiently in the testes for normal sperm production. Decreasing luteinizing hormone levels seems to reduce production of testosterone in testes by Leydig cells, resulting in reduced sperm production. Researchers are now conducting studies to find out if holy basil will work as an effective male contraceptive. And this anti-sperm effect is reversible once you stop using holy basil. Holy basil, or Tulsi, is easily found in most health food stores and vitamin shops worldwide. It's available in capsules, dried powder, fresh leaves, liquid extracts, and as a Tulsi tea, including individual tea bags. But do not confuse holy basil for sweet basil, which is commonly used as a condiment in the kitchen. Two different plants. Three types of holy basil that are used therapeutically are Krishna, or Osamum tenuflorum. It has a purplish leaves and makes a great tea. It's the most potent and it's highest in concentration of adaptogenic triproteins. And then there's the form of Vanna, which is Osamum gratissimum. It's the original wild bush basil, which is high on eugenol and a great adaptogen. It's native to Indian parts of Africa. And then finally we have Rama, or Osamum sanctum. It's the holy basil that was originally imported into the USA. 
It's the most common type which is now grown in the U.S. Always choose holy basil that is grown organically, if possible, and wild harvested it as well. So that's my report on holy basil. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to my website, Nootropics Expert, and search for holy basil. Or click on the link below in the notes section below this video. Once you're at my website, Nootropics Expert, you'll find a full transcript for this video. And you'll find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. If you haven't already, download your free copy of Secrets of the Optimized Brain. It's nearly 100 pages and contains details in 92 of the most popular nootropics used today. And my four-time award-winning book, the second edition of Head First, The Complete Guide to Healing and Optimizing Your Brain with Nootropic Supplements, is now available, finally. Head First, the second edition, is 962 pages and is available in hardcover, paperback, or for iPad or Kindle. You can get your copy at any major bookseller, including Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Belboa Press, Apple Books, Walmart, and others. Now, you'll find a link to these stores down below in the notes section of this video. And did I mention that Head First won four awards? You really need to get a copy if you haven't already. Head First is available worldwide. And if you could use some personal help with choosing the right nootropics or figuring out how to deal with your own brain health issues, consider booking a personal consultation with me. You'll find a link to my calendar down below in the notes section below this video. And if you want to see more videos on all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.